Hey guys, Steve here. Today we're going to be checking out the Parseval Tier 7 German Carrier. We got two builds to examine. Starscream, which is featured in this game. There's the build. Base trade increase aircraft speed. It's level 12.1. We got 1.3% boost maxed at 2. Special little perk there in slot 2. Aircraft return speed uh, max 20%. And then the HP goes up by 4% per uh, plane type. Here's the build a lot of you guys would probably have. Geisla. Now, secondary guns on the carrier, that's fine, but it's not really that important, in my opinion. If you got ships that close to you, you're already in trouble. Increase the damage and armor penalty or planes AP bombs. Well, that's pertinent to this line. Uh, we do have the AP bombs on this. The trade-off, if we don't have that, which we don't have available on the Transformer Commander, uh, then we're using the slot 4 perk that increases the plane speed. Now, when I got two points into that slot 4 perk, it's a plus 2% boost, max is at 4. So technically with this Transformer build, we could boost the speed of our planes by 6% if the thing's fully maxed and we're using the base trade along with that slot 4 perk, which you probably would be doing. Uh, but anyway, the difference between the builds as is right now is uh, 195 knots compared to 189 on my uh, torpedo bombers and same speed for... Uh, you know, the tort bomber. So six knots difference here. We could more than double that. It would probably be about 13, 14, 15 knots in the air, which is fast. I mean, we'd be well over 200 knots in the air. Compare that to the 156 knots that the Lexington's planes got. And note these uh, jet planes here. This is the skin that you can get with the uh, Parsifal here for the Transformers. We're getting spotted here, though, jumping into this game. We're going to be looking for destroyers. We noticed there's only one... Uh, both destroyers on our team were either above B or C, so we wanted to trend towards A. We immediately spot three battleships south of A, so we know the destroyers aren't there. Cut back to the middle, start getting shot, immediately go to the torps, uh, begin the run. We want to spot this thing. He's going to pop the smoke, stop dead in the water. We're going to, of course, going to launch directly at him. And this is a pretty solid open here. We've spotted the back line, basically. Everything except for the second destroyer has been discovered, I believe. And we hit the guy with a torp and immediately go back into a follow-up run on the gas cone. And we get a couple torps off there with a quick, quick launch and actually connect with both. So the opening hand for the Percival 14K+. plus. Uh, so not a bad open there. We did do some significant damage to the Lightning. Of course, we're still on the hunt for their other ship. I think it's Kagero. I'm looking on the map there, it looks like he might have been really spotted. But this is kind of a great opener here now. The Germans, the AP bombers are kind of the least effective when dealing with the destroyers. So since I have a hunch that we got destroyers in the hood here, uh, we're immediately going back with the torpedo bombers. The torpedoes on these things very fast. Uh, comparing them, what is it, 58 knots in the water. Compare that to 50 with the Americans, 52 with the Japanese on my builds. So this is kind of the way that I would personally recommend dealing with the destroyers as the Germans. Load up with the torp bombers. Uh, a lot of nations, it just depends. I think... It, like the Americans, you can hit them pretty well with the HE, uh, the Japanese HE as well, and the Torps. I mean, the more skill you get at these, uh, the easier it is to hit these destroyers. Once again, Lightning makes the same mistake. He drops uh, the smoke and anchors, and we, of course, plug him with another Torp there. He does have a flood that uh, looks like it's stuck here as well. So you can see the damage ticking up in the corner there. You can always check that, whether you're playing destroyers, carriers. See if your Torps... Uh, are still actively damaging them via flood by just taking a look at the uh, damage once you uh, have established the flood. Anyway, now we'll see the AP bombers here. And even if we hit the sky, which isn't going to be easy, uh, these things are going to do very little damage. Okay, the HE bombers in general, uh, there we get them with the flood though. But the HE bombers in general, if you hit the destroyers with those, you can get good damage, get good mod damage. But like an AP shell on a destroyer, that's kind of the same idea with these AP bombers. We're not going to get a lot of damage. So... We're still going to want to be spotting these destroyers. And we do have teammates that are actually doing a pretty good job shooting these guys. Looking on the map now, I don't know. It looks like there might be one guy uh, just to the uh, north of our position in between those islands that's shooting them. The rest of the team really not in a great position here. So we immediately go back to the torpedo bombers thinking, well, we want to get this Kagero. Because uh, he is trying to capture B, of course. Uh, we are flipping their home cap over there in the southeast corner. Uh, 
but if we can get both of these destroyers, and we're having a huge hand in these, uh, that's going to swing the game in our favor. You can see they're overloading. A, they got all three of those battleships. We only have two ships over there uh, to counter. So we immediately go into the Torp run here looking for him, hoping he was still going to be where he was. He's been moving forward, which is a good play for him. So we're just going to hold on to those torpedoes. We don't launch them. He's not doing a lot of damage. Usually the Japanese destroyers don't have great AA. So we hold on to those, immediately turn around, and then commence... Uh, another attack run here. He's going to be trying to back up here. He should see, hopefully he's keeping an eye on us, he should see us coming in hot and then immediately gun the engine here. But he continues on his uh, previous path. And once again, note how fast those torps are. And this is a lot easier to hit the destroyers with these torpedoes than with uh, the other nation's torpedo bombers. So you got to be on the lookout. These German carriers, the Parsifal is the one I usually play if I play them. Pretty dangerous. The AP bombs, we haven't seen them much yet this game, but we'll see them later. And the torpedoes, not the hardest hitting. If we're going to compare the damage on the torps, we got 6,100 here compared to 72, 67 on my Americans, and 7,907 on my Japanese builds. Uh, but, you know, they're still easier to connect with due to the faster speed. Note the lead on that uh, cruiser, the Suzuya. We let them basically a full cruiser length in front, and uh, it Learning how far to lead these ships is kind of one of the arts with these torps, because again, it's not like they're not usually that fast in terms of the speed with the torpedoes, so that takes a little bit of practice. Usually battleships will aim about a half ship in front of them if they look like they're going full speed. Cruisers are usually about a full uh, length, or maybe even a little bit more if we're playing something like the Americans with really slow torps. Anyway, Suzuya, uh, he's kind of going right up the gut, and if you're looking on the map, most of our guys are separated on the edges of the map, which is fine. We actually got a member, a channel member, uh, Lubowski, on the other team in the Jean Bart. He's actually going to get the top score in this game. So he's doing a great job in the east, clearing that out. They quickly captured their home base, and now they're just pushing into those guys, the backline Betty's in the back. Uh, so they're doing great damage. But for our perspective, the Suzuki is kind of flushed. He's forced to go north anyways, but now he might be saying to himself, you know what, that pesky carrier, we actually can get him. We don't have any other surface ships between him and us. So here we're trying to drop some AP bombs on this Iowa here. We're going to see a nice juicy uh, double citadel shot there. And now we're saying to ourselves, okay, look at the Suzuki. He's closing in. Looks like he's got revenge on his mind. So we get the torpedo bombers back in action here. And we're in the air here. We're spotting him. Uh, so those guys that are pushing through the east now are actually curling south of B. So they will have shots on him, and you can see there are actually shots coming in here. So now at this point in time, if he was thinking about attacking us, and he never really got on B, so I think he was just either running away or thinking about killing us. He wasn't pl trying to play the cap like he should have been. But anyway, we got support here, and uh, we're trying to counter him because we don't want to get sunk here, obviously. We're having a pretty fun... Uh, game in terms of a carrier game here and triple shot there with the torps and immediately turn around recommence follow-up uh, get in the habit with these torpedo bombers practice this quick turnaround here you can usually double attack most targets and uh, effective shot uh, good shot there that's actually Lubowski our channel member there great game there great shot there making sure we're safe and uh, since we once again held on to the ordnance, we're just going to go over here. This was the 3v2, keep in mind, the red overload. Now they got a 2v1 over here, but Nagato low. And Joja on our team, pretty low. He's got about a quarter to a third of his health left. I'm thinking Nagato's probably going to go for the ram here. So I'm trying to close in fast. He's also got other shots, uh, presumably from Lebowski or there's uh, fellow ships over in that area. You know, So they're all trying to finish him off. Once again, we don't get the... Uh, shot off here so we just hold on to him and we're gonna go ahead and try and torp this Georgia there's no real reason I guess we could have I don't know I guess we just pulled off of that thinking maybe let's just try these uh, AP bombers or whatever but keep in mind here this Georgia on their team will kill our Georgia and then look on the map they can probably spot them through uh, the half moon on a for a little bit but we're flying in front of this Georgia because we got the AP bombers HE bombers HE AP bombers, you want to attack them either nose on or tail on, you know, in other words, have the ship pointing at you or away from you. Torpedoes, of course, you want to hit them crossfire, like a broadside shot, like most of the guns. So we're trying to achieve that position, but as he's trying to disengage here, we're also keeping him spotted. So we're going to get, be getting bonus spotting damage, uh, XP, and even if that's not a huge factor in the score, it's still the right play. We want our team to be able to shoot at this guy for free. He can't see them, but they can see him. And we're going to go ahead and finish him off with the coup de gras left hook there. So that's a look at the Parsifal for you with the Transformer Commander for you. 
and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the thumbs up. New to the channel, consider subscribing. we got lots of World of Warships coming all the time. Questions, comments, leave them below. Do love to hear from me, and we'll see y'all later. Peace.